Aha! Uh -huh. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just playing some classic Microsoft Solitaire, and it is kind of miserable, not gonna lie. If only there was some sort of game on my Switch that could make Solitaire actually fun, along with multiple other games, I'd be interested in that. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Okay, this might actually be just up my alley. Look at that, so many great games to play, all for just 40 bucks. What a great offer. It's almost as if you've purchased 40 games for a dollar each and got 11 extra for no extra cost. It's great. Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics is a game gallery made by NDQ. You know, the people who messed up Mario Party and made Amiibo Festival. Not a very good track record. They based this game on the original DS title of the same name. 51 familiar and fun games that almost anyone can recognize and play including Solitaire, Connect 4, Domino, Knock Off Uno, and War. Along with some less familiar games like Manicala, Mahjong Solitaire, and Hanafuda cards. When booting up the game for the first time, you are greeted with a cutscene about how miserable the world is. And then you get to choose your character. And bam, look at that. The entire collection all in one space. Every time you click on the game, you get a fully voice acted little introduction, which is cute. And some of them have corny jokes and puns. Get ready to eat my dust. Oh, who put that corner there? You couldn't see it through your cloud of dust. Just what I wanted to hear. After you complete a game, you unlock a piece of trivia about said game. Ooh, I sure do love collectible trivia in games. It's one of the only redeeming qualities of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games 2020 edition. There are so many ways to play this thing, including touchscreen and a pro controller. So your grandparents can easily play this without needing to understand how to press a button on a controller, which is actually really nice. And of course, you can play it locally, online, and with local wireless, all in a $40 package. And the free demo allows for local wireless with only one copy needed. <laughs> Not bad, let's take a deeper look. 15 hours later. Ah yes, that was divine. But it did leave a few things to desire. Maybe if I talk about it more, the big guys will see it and they can make an update to the game with all these new features. Fingers crossed, despite it not being very likely. Wait, that's it? This mini game is flawed from the start and really bothers me. First off, it is only playable in touchscreen. And I can confirm. act as a real piano, but it isn't even mentioned in the game's title. Yeah, this is the 52nd game in the collection. You lied! And these little characters don't even know what it is. How do you improve this, you may ask? Simple! Make it a Simon Says game! Some notes play, you copy them, boom! Hours of fun! You could also turn this into a rhythm game. Tap the key when the orb is on the correct position, and please add Nintendo tracks instead of tracks from the public domain. Look, I want to play Jump Up Superstar on a mini piano. Ring Fit Adventure didn't necessarily fill that desire quite well. To sum this up, basically add more patterns and themes to the shooting gallery, more maps in the tank game, 4-player multiplayer with one controller, similar to Wii Bowling for the Bowling and Dart minigame. You know, the games where people can take turns playing. It would also be super convenient for an infinite or play until you want to stop mode. Basically, you can play a game for as long as you want without a time or card limit. This would be epic. Also, please add an exit button to online games. That would be great, thank you. 
As of recording this video, in local multiplayer you can only use sideways Joy-Cons. I feel like multiplayer could have been so much better if more controllers were supported. But on the bright side, the online and local wireless is great. The lag has been kept to the minimal, and you can use Pro Controllers when online. But not locally for some reason. Just add it to local play please. I used to love the little Mario cards in this game, but unfortunately, you all know what happened. But it would be cool to have other themed cards as well. Like imagine Zelda cards, Kirby cards, Star Fox, Metroid, Pokemon, Pikmin, Smash! So many opportunities! Another great idea is to add more player figures with customizable clothing so they could be a little bit more similar to you. Like, I like this figure right here, but I want him to wear a blue jacket. Making these little perks unlockable after completing missions will add so much replayability to an already seriously replayable game. Also, there should be a music box mode where you can listen to the game's soundtrack. Oh, and extra trivia would be appreciated as well. Only 51 games? Pfft, they already broke that promise. That means there is always the opportunity for DLC. Call it the Encore DLC or something like that. We do need more games like Dumb to Pick, a Canadian classic, a Monopoly-esque game because there's not currently one here, some sort of Candy Link because that's a classic, and a more full-fledged Battleship or even a claw machine would fit super well into this. I would also like to see more country representation from south of the equator. So many of these games are either from England or Japan. We need more variety. I'm also surprised the jigsaw puzzles are not here. They are some of the most recognizable things and are just perfect for this game. And like I said, have Nintendo themed pictures. Another idea could involve all the earned trivia which could be used as a game show quiz game. Wait, before you say this game cannot have a campaign mode, just hear me out. Remember the game guides in Globe? Pretty neat place where you can get extra info about games, their origin, and even learn about other players worldwide. This gave me an idea. What if you were to create a map of our actual world with paths? This will act as a literal world map that your customized figure can move around. Along these paths are other figures that challenge you to a game appropriate to the geographical region. Like Hanafuda in Japan and Hounds and Hares in France, for example. Some of the games with unknown origins could just be placed anywhere. Once you beat them, your figure can advance and continue. There can be lots of branching paths that you can take to play all the games. So the map is very open for the player to choose where they want to go. This could be very similar to World of Light in Smash Bros. Ultimate. The only way to continue along is to beat the figure which is blocking your way, which makes a lot of sense for this type of game. Even some of the collectibles and perks I mentioned earlier could even be found along the paths. For the story itself, I was thinking something simple. These four figures that you're highly familiar with can create a challenge to see who can learn about the most games. You can choose where to start on the map depending on where you live, and try to beat your rival. The rival should be an absolute just like blue in Pokemon Red and Blue. This will grant everyone a similar but different experience. And once you've completed all the games, you can return to where you started for the ultimate showdown. Also related to my next idea. Basically, a game pops up in front of you, and you try to score a point. Then the screen changes to another game, and you score another point. This can get faster and faster the farther you continue, and can be addicting to beat your high score. Each play will be different depending on controller and number of players. This could be called the Mega Mix, and can be placed next to the globe on the menu. Imagine playing Speed Chest followed by War, and then a quick hit and blow round? Come on, I'm not the only one who thinks this is a good idea, right? And with that, I think this is good enough. Granted, the odds of this happening are pretty... 
bad, but it's not completely impossible. So many things can be improved with this already great game. I mean, it already helped so many people get through the pandemic. Just having these few improvements here and there can make it even better than it actually is. You know what? This game has the potential of becoming the next Wii Play. We already have tanks, the target shoot, billiards, and air hockey. All we're missing is the cow game. And if that cow game gets added, boom, 10 out of 10. Who else agrees?